no matter how bad things are going right now, when you come to the Fighting Bob Fest, you leave feeling pretty good. The progressive movement rolls into town this weekend. Thanks for joining us on News 3 at 10. I'm Angela Bettis in for Maria Guerrero tonight. Thousands of progressives meeting up in Madison today, but their message put in a negative light this week when a Capitol protester dumped beer on a Republican lawmaker. News 3's Theo Keith finding a crowd divided on that incident at today's Fighting Bob Vest. Theo. Hi, Angela. Divided, but still focused on fighting what they call a class war and focused, too, on getting rid of elected leaders they say aren't listening. Reason, progressives say, to get louder. Thousands of people coming from all over Wisconsin. Madison's Alliant Energy Center, now the home of a decade-old tradition, the Fighting Bob Fest, honoring the spirit of Wisconsin progressive Bob LaFollette, comes with new energy this year. Many of the people who were out in the streets in February and March are here at the Alliance Center, and uh, I think trying to send a signal to Governor Walker and others that uh, they're not tired, they're, they're not going away. But will recent controversy turn moderate Wisconsinites away from their message? It was a circus this week after a Capitol protester admitted to dousing Republican Assemblyman Robin Voss with beer in a Madison bar. Whenever you take an action like that, you're, you're making a risk of, of turning off some of the people. Mike Dickman has been a staple of protests at the Capitol. He doesn't condone violence, but he says he understands why someone would dump beer on a lawmaker. Compared to what they've done to the state and how they've divided people, I almost think it was fairly appropriate. Progressives using the Fighting Bob Fest to keep on message. Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin was there. The recently announced U.S. Senate candidate started her campaign by speaking to a friendly crowd. Much different than what she'll face in other parts of the state, but she says there's a common concern. So the middle class of Wisconsin is, is in duress and want to feel that their public officials are listening and get it, and right now they don't. And while there were mixed reactions to the beer dumping incident, people were quite interested in what will come of the FBI raiding the home of a former top aide to Governor Walker. Lots of emotion inside that arena today, no doubt. A sign of the times. Absolutely. Thank you, Theo.